Hey folks, here we are for game one with the Simic Thracios and Kaidel Storm deck. Um, I won the die roll this game, and uh, here we have a pretty strange hand, but I think it's keepable. Uh, I can play Mana Crypt on turn one into Simic Signet, and then on my next turn I can Windfall, uh, accruing card advantage that way, probably playing Grim Monolith as well. I also have Fabricate if I want to go that route, but Recycle and Psychosis Crawler are going to have to wait till another day, I think. Wait till a different time to be useful. Because right now they're not looking that great. But everything else is looking pretty good. So I decided that I'll keep. And I drew a Mana Vault on my turn 1. Which definitely changes things. Now I can do a lot more here. So I decide to play Mana Crypt. Then follow it up with Mana Vault. There's a chance that I should have played Grim Monolith over Mana Vault first. It's a small thing. But uh, sequencing around Mental Misstep. Uh, I didn't think to do that. But in, for future reference. Probably it was wiser to play Grim Monolith into Mana Vault small thing but it could matter so I play mana vault play grim monolith play cynic signet make some mana and cast a windfall leaving green open uh, my next hand here I got a mox opal fellow R stone mr. Cremora some lands uh, mental misstep and carpet of flowers uh, not the most exciting hand ever but it has more mana which is nice and uh, mr. Cremora which is pretty good defense against someone doing what I just did. So I play Remora here so that if somebody tries to do what I just did then I will end up drawing a bunch of cards. Uh, somewhere in the middle of my first turn here this guy right here, Rot Snocket, conceded. Uh, this guy, Omnoth, he played a tap land and then started to pass his turn. I guess he just looked at my board versus his board and realized that he wasn't gonna make it or maybe he really liked his starter hand uh, that got Windfall away, who knows, but he decided to quit as well. So this Carador player is the only person who decided to hang around with me. Uh, turn 1 Windfall versus Carador is probably pretty good for helping him out. It helps him put a couple of creatures into his graveyard, make his commander cheaper. I did get rid of some lands, and you know he played a land this turn, so I guess he has more in his hand. But um, yeah, he just plays a tap land and passes the turn. So on my next turn, I pay for Remora. There's a chance that I maybe should have just let Remora go this turn. That way I could have played Thracios and Kaidel on the same turn. But I feel like this may be influencing his plays, so I decide that I want to keep it around. Even if it's not actively doing anything, it may be preventing him from making certain plays that would allow me to draw cards. Because I don't think he wants me to draw cards. So. Here I draw a Frantic Search and I cast Frantic Search. Uh, see some junk. I decide just to get rid of a land and a Carpet of Flowers. Carpet of Flowers is not going to be very good versus Carador. <laughs> Um, keep a Mental Misstep and Nature's Claim, which is okay. Uh, mental Misstep can stop a decent amount of things, like Swords to Plowshares and things like that. And I also have Nature's Claim for fast, fast artifact mana or uh, something like uh, Survival of the Fittest. Here I just play Kaidel and pass the turn. He plays a land and taps out. Here I pay for the Remora again because I've, I believe that it is influencing his plays to some degree. I play Thracios, and then I just decide to act, activate Thracios here using the colorless mana off Kaidel. If I pass the turn and try to do it on his turn, I would have to tap down all of my colored mana because I would not have drawn a card, so I could not tap Kaidel for mana. And here I'm leaving open a blue or a green because maybe I'll draw something that I can, I can do with, with that. I found a land on top, shipped it to the bottom, and ended up with a Lotus Petal. He plays non-artifact ramp, or an enchantment. Uh, plays Dawn Treader Elk, which is kind of like a Sakura Tri Builder, but slightly more expensive. Still a fine card, I think. He passes. I pay for Remora. I win the Mana Crypt Flipped. And I lost the Mana Vault flip. Here I pick up a Aether Flux Reservoir. And Aether Flux Reservoir. Nice card to see. Uh, here I activate Thracios. And I find Mind Over Matter. Uh, which I decide to keep. Because soon I will be able to get enough colorless mana on Kaidel. To where I can cast Mind Over Matter. And uh, hopefully just go off. I could play the Lotus Petal to activate with Kaidel, but I decided it's not worth it.
And I'm glad I did too, based on the way the next turn plays out. So he cracked his elk, plays an Eternal Witness, gets back a, another land. I guess he wants to really make sure to hit his land drops. Maybe he has an explosive play in hand that he just needs a couple more lands in play to get to. So here, I finally decide to let the Remora go because it was becoming quite expensive and it never did anything that I could actually noticeably see. Uh, I drew Deep Analysis, which is a great draw. I cast it, put a couple of colorless mana on Kaidel. And then I have exactly four blue sources, so I play them out and I play Mind Over Matter. And with five cards in hand, this is a pretty good position. I don't know if, I mean, it's certainly possible that I will fizzle, but it's also possible that I just win the game from this position. Uh, so I pitch a Nature's Claim to untap Kaidel. And then activate Thracios, and when I activated, he conceded. Uh, which may not have been correct either, because there was definitely a chance that I was not going to win right there. Um, so had the other players stayed in the game, I mean, here it's turn five or whatever, so if these other two guys had not conceded, then there was plenty of room for magic to be had. Uh, there was a lot of room for interaction and for someone to stop me with the right set of cards. Uh, There's quite a few draw steps they would have had before this game was over. Um, so hopefully if you see this and maybe you're one of those people who likes to concede you'll see that you know just because somebody has an explosive star it does not mean their hand is always loaded it doesn't mean they have a win wrapped up immediately it just means they have an advantage and that does not necessarily mean that the game is over so you don't need to concede in those situations um, so uh, that's it for game one I hope you enjoyed